One week. One week. It's been one week since you looked at me. No, but one week, ladies and gentlemen, one week until the Nintendo Switch and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are unleashed upon the world, are let free into the air and the environment for us all to take in and breathe and live one single week. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I, I I'm containing it a little. I am, I'm standing here. I'm fine. I, I don't think I'll have to uh, uh, lie down like I've been needing to do whenever I talk about this. I think I'll be fine. Um, okay, just a little. So this is a little bit like my uh, my calm before the NX storm video I did some some months ago. Um, obviously a bit more uh, a bit more casual. I'm just kind of here on my my whatever background. Uh, I'm not working off a script or anything. I'm just kind of doing this, and uh, I, I just I just wanted to to just touch bases one last time, just to do one one more video, uh, just just taking one last look at a pre Switch world, just. Just, just taking a, a moment to to look at life, look at a switchless life, and just and just think, just reflect, just be, and also to talk about how this is all going to go down. Uh, so pre-orders. I was one of the lucky few to get a pre-order. I um, and only because I just camped websites, camped every website I knew, pretty much constantly after the the Switch presentation until the first one that I found that had pre-orders, I jumped on it, and that happened to be Best Buy. I was, uh, I was looking at Amazon, uh, Loxton was, like, telling me he'd tweet me when he uh, got a notification for GameStop and Amazon. Uh, I saw Best Buy, and I jumped on it. That was the only reason I got one, because, I mean, they were sold out just, like, instantly. And, uh, I, I did, I did it through the uh, Best Buy website, but I, uh, clicked store pickup, so I will be picking it up at the store at launch. I'm really, really, really hoping they do a midnight launch. I think they will, because when I look at the page, it says the release is March 2nd, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they will, uh, and just, like, based on the hype and everything, they probably will. Uh, I really hope so. Loxton from Noggin, pictured here, is, uh, he got his at Best Buy, too, so, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go in together. It'd be fun if it was a midnight launch. Go in together, uh, sing campfire songs, Bring snacks, you know, uh, camp camp out for a while, get in our get in our tent, tell ghost stories and stuff, you know, waiting for the uh, waiting for the <laughs> waiting for the, the the doors to open or whatever. So that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I got my pre-order all set. Uh, you might be asking what other stuff I have pre-ordered for my Switch, and I am glad that you asked. I have Zelda. That's it. <laughs> that's uh, that that's pretty much it. That's all. That's the other thing that I have pre-ordered uh, for my Switch. Uh, technically, I have um, uh, 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 one, two Switch, one, two Switch pre-ordered. I ordered that on Amazon though, because uh, I wanted to take advantage of the uh, the Prime discount. Uh, Amazon Prime members get uh, like 20% off new games. So the, the one, two Switch was like 50 bucks. So it's like 40 uh, plus tax, of course. Uh, so I'll probably get that like like March 3rd at like 5 p.m. So uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about doing Zelda with that too, but I didn't because uh, they were sold out. Amazon sold out of uh, Breath of the Wild apparently. I didn't know that uh, even could happen, but uh, it did. By the way, I should probably give a shout out to my uh, my buddy Brian, uh, pictured here, for being gracious enough to let me use his, um, his uh, Amazon Prime membership to order games, and uh, also for probably being my biggest fan. Brian! Woo! I think uh, most people on average probably ordered a, a lot more, pre-ordered a lot more than me uh, accessory-wise, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty cheap, uh, and uh, uh, those accessories are just really, 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 really pricey, and uh, uh, I, I do want a pro controller, kinda, but uh, that's just a lot of money. That's even more than the price of a game. Uh, and then, you know, I was considering getting one anyway, but then I saw that those are also sold out everywhere, so, um, I guess that's that. I'm, I'm, uh, right now I got nothing. I'm not completely against getting accessories. I think, uh, part of it is that I just kind of want to wait and, uh, play my Switch for a while and, uh, see what I want, see what I end up wanting, see what uh, kinds of problems arise and what make me just be like, oh, you know what, I could really go for this. Uh, that'll help me, help, uh, inform my, uh, my, my decision if I ever do make one. My gosh, I really just can't believe that I will be holding one soon. Like, it's uh, it's unreal. I, I can't believe that that is a real reality, that I will be 
holding a Switch in my hands. I mean, I, I have my Nintendo systems pretty much forever. It's, it's kind of a big deal, you know? It's like a, it's like getting a new member of the family. Like, I think there may be like a handful of systems like when I was a kid that uh, kind of changed hands a few times. But for the most part, I keep my systems. I keep my Nintendo systems. They're like precious to me, you know? <laughs> like I, I, I hold them close to my heart. Uh, it's almost cruel how when you go to the store or you, you, you buy a thing on Amazon or whatever, the, the guy just grabs one off the shelf and just throws it at you. And just like, here, here's one from the stack. It's like, oh, can't I, can't I hold each one and, and spend time with them so I can, so I can see which switch is my switch? <laughs> which, which switch fits my heart best? Oh man, oh man, you, you know what I'm gonna do when I get that switch? You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to set up my camera and all my lights and stuff and do an unboxing video. Yeah, yeah, oh, but, but you know what I'm gonna do after that? Then what I'm gonna do is uh, edit and post the video and spend uh, probably a few hours on that. Okay, but you know what I'm gonna do with that switch after that? You know what I'm gonna do after that? I'm gonna mess around with the menu and the UI and the hardware and all that and make a uh, first impressions video. Yeah, yeah, being a YouTuber, it's, uh, it's a hard life sometimes. <laughs> Gotta make a lot of sacrifices, a lot of painful sacrifices for the good of the channel. So that'll be kind of hard. Uh, the whole time, just Zelda is gonna be just burning a hole in the back of my mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be there, just like blazing like a fire, just like, play me, play me now. I, I, I might just like black out. <laughs> I think I might just black out and wake up playing Zelda. Like I just wake up and be like, oh, where am I? Oh, oh, I'm on the first boss. Like my body might just go on autopilot. It'll be like those stories of people just performing impossible feats in life or death situations without even without even realizing it, except my amazing miraculous feat will be used up on me miraculously playing Zelda without even being conscious. Like my body just has that much of a need for it that it just it just does it on its own and that'll be that'll be my my big miracle. So a couple little tidbits have uh, dropped into the pipeline or whatever today. Um, I just heard about the fact that there will be no virtual console at all at launch, and uh, it's disappointing for sure. Um, uh, obviously, this is not exactly turning out like the launch I said they should have in all those videos I made about saying how they should have like a ton of virtual console stuff. Like not only have the service, but have a bunch of stuff on it too. Obviously that's not happening. Um, it's not too bad though. I think hype for the system itself is kind of uh, helping to pick up the slack as far as this launch goes. I think just it looking really cool is gonna make the launch pretty okay, even if it doesn't have those features I feel like it should have had. Um, it's not a huge deal, it's just a little bit disappointing. Nintendo has been really quiet regarding the Virtual Console and we've been a little bit wary of the lack of information and apparently we were uh, a little bit right to do so. It turned out to be, yeah, it's not not just kind of busting out of the gate, here it is, full virtual console, it ends up being a little bit like, you know. It does kind of support my my soft launch idea. I mean, uh, imagine a, a launch, a Christmas launch of the Switch with just no virtual console whatsoever. That would be, that would be weird. That would be a little bit just like, what, what are you doing? But this one is, uh, this March one is, uh, it's so much easier to swallow the news. It's so much easier to be just okay with it because, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll be playing Zelda. I don't exactly care about the virtual console on day one anyway, so, uh, so it's fine. The timing makes this lack of features uh, a pretty okay thing, so. You know, that's that. I also just heard about this uh, this Joy-Con connection problem thing. Have you heard about this? Um, I guess uh, today or really recently or whatever, uh, most publications started getting their, their early switches, their early review copies or whatever, their systems. And uh, lots of them, lots of them have been reporting problems, like uh, uh, connection problems with the, uh, the Joy-Con not... Uh, not hooking up right to the TV, having uh, like uh, disconnection problems where you're playing and uh, it's just not uh, receiving your, your 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 inputs right. Apparently, if you're too far from the the system or the TV, or your your, your finger or your hand kind of gets in front of it, it kind of messes up the connection. And uh, I wouldn't be worried if basically everyone hadn't been reporting on the problem. Like they obviously, like a lot of people are like, oh, well then don't put your hand in front of it. But it's like. 
these people are just playing it and they are coming across this problem, which means that it, yeah, like it is a problem. It is something that is cropping up with just one day of play. We definitely don't want anything that, uh, that jeopardizes the ease and comfort of playing. You know, we, we don't want to, oh, well just don't do this. Just make sure you sit close enough. Like we, we shouldn't have to do that. Like I, I don't, I don't like that. That, that conclusion. Uh, no other controller requires that, you know? I, I can sit down with my PS4 controller and nothing gets in the way. Someone can walk in front of the TV and it doesn't mess everything up. It, it works perfectly all the time. So I'm really, really, really hoping this is the sort of thing that can be uh, patched up. I hope it's not a hardware issue that is just a fault in the design. Um, a lot of people are saying that it could just be the, uh, the Bluetooth frequency or something that can be uh, told they can uh, release a firmware update to tell it to be stronger it'll just uh, take some more of the battery so i'm hoping that this is the sort of thing that can be fixed with a firmware patch and that it won't well you know it won't sacrifice the battery too much if they already put it at that level it's because they were trying to give the joy cons a really good battery life it would stink if it took just like hours off in order to fix this problem but uh i don't know we'll just have to wait and see i i really hope they can get it worked out because i don't want to have to be like super duper careful about where my hands are like the whole time. That's not, that's not comfortable. Okay, well, I don't want to ramble on forever. Uh, I, I will fully admit that there is not a tremendous amount of point to this video. <laughs> I don't have like a, like a grand proclamation to make. Uh, I don't have any, any real, like just a really firm thing that I am, I am proclaiming about this. I really just wanted to uh, just kind of have one last thing, one, one last base touching before, before this whole thing happens, you know? Uh, before this whole thing just explodes and I, I cannot Cannot describe how excited I am. I know I've said it a million times, but I'm just I'm just that excited It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, it's also gonna be lots of work like lots of work. I've uh, th This whole YouTube thing is pretty new to me. I've never covered a system before uh, this is a this is a new experience and it's uh, you know, it, it makes the whole thing kind of uh, a little bit daunting but exciting in a in a whole new way it's amazing that I'll be able to to share this whole experience with you guys. This this experience of getting a new console and being so super excited about it and uh, just checking it out and making all these uh, opinions about it and stuff. And uh, yeah, just sharing it with you guys. Like that's uh, that's cool. That's gonna be a really really cool special experience that makes uh, makes a launch of a system just just that much cooler. So just take a look around, guys. Take uh, take a good deep breath of that air. <sighs> get one last glimpse of this, this switchless world, this, this interesting, slightly empty world without a switch. Because for Nintendo fans, in one week, this world will change forever. And uh, for non-Nintendo fans, I, I, I guess it'll stay the same, for the most part. But, uh, but whatever, they're suckers. Nintendo's the best. We're gonna be playing our Switches and they're gonna be jealous. They're gonna be like, whoa, what are you guys doing? We're gonna be like, having a cool Nintendo guy, Nintendo Switch party. And they're gonna be like, whoa, can I join? And we're gonna be like, Nintendo cool guys with Nintendo Switches only. And they're gonna be like, uh, and then walk away all sad. That's, that's how it goes in my head. I don't know what it is that goes like that exactly. Um, Nintendo Switch, woo! It's been